Hey guys, I'm Danny Romero and we're here today at Coconut Grove Arts Festival. The Coconut Grove Arts Festival is more than just a festival. It's produced by the Coconut Grove Arts and Historical Association. And this weekend's proceeds will help fund art programs throughout the year. Hi guys, we're here today with some students from New World School of the Arts. I'm Luna and I'm a junior. I'm Ashley Ramos and I'm also a junior. Brianna Walzak, senior. Hi, my name is Tatiana Solano and we're here selling our paintings. Um, two canvases for each artist, basically from grades 9 through 12. And they're all $120 each. Half goes to the school for our materials and half goes to each student. So. It's very so you guys do this every year at Coconut Grove Arts Festival? Every year, coming and sweating and like just trying to promote our school. I love this. I love this. Oh, beautiful. Party in the back, guys. I wish you guys all the best. This is amazing to see art programs here in Coconut Grove Art Festival. And we hope to see you guys again. Have a great day. So are you from down here or where are you from? From California, Northern California, Chico to be exact. My name is Janie Harrington and I'm from Fredericksburg, Virginia. I'm from Greenville, South Carolina. So a good 11, 12, 13 hours from here. So I'm from Malaysia and uh, based in New York City for 40 years. So we're here with Amber and Palo, right from where? Sevierville, Tennessee, Dolly Parton country. Oh my God, Dolly Parton! Actually this hair is inspired by by a little little dolly or that. yeah. that's absolutely perfect Some sculpture based how did you come up with like these types of designs they're like these creatures I've always been drawn to sculpture and clay work been doing it for probably about 24 years so it's just evolved as I went I've always been drawn to the figure and I love antiques so it's kind of putting the two together getting the history the patina of the antiques with the figurative pieces kind of evocative of that weathered and worn surface. You can see everything has like a little history with it. It does, definitely, and its own personality and its own story with it. So does that environment kind of inspire what you have going on here? You know, not really. It's uh, the corals and the jungles, which we don't have. I mean, we do have beautiful mountains and rivers and everything there, but it's the Florida colors, the, you know, the plant life that's around here. I, I come to Florida a lot every year for the last about 14 years. I've come here to do art shows and I love it here. I do a little snorkeling and I grow gardens. So a lot of this is inspired by gardens. I have been trained in the Venetian technique, which is a Murano uh, style of glass blowing. Italians. Uh, I was trained by some masters. You know, millions of hours spending behind the hot glass and obsessing about it and uh, creating these one of a kind pieces. And what you see here, this is my 23 years of training glass right here in this moment. This is where I'm at. Yeah, <laughs> it's that dedication. The dedication, persistence. Yeah. What I'm seeing, like people, natural habitat, like just doing their business, but like the shadow work, the play work of the light. What, what inspired you to do that? I've developed into this over the last 15 years. I started just by sketching people at train stations and then just for practice, just to learn anatomy, developing into painting them just for practice. And then that became a little series, you know, just for practice. <laughs> And then that became a body of work and my life's obsession. It's like the first rule about being an artist is practice makes perfect, but in this case, practice made an art body of work. It's amazing. Well, so how did you find out about Coconut Grove Arts Festival if you're from South Carolina? It has a reputation around the country for being a really good art show. So when, you're, when you apply and you're accepted, it's, it's a real honor. It is hot. It is definitely hot in Miami. It is huge and it's really hot. How are you guys surviving this right now? Uh, a lot of frozen lemonade. Yes. A lot. It's, it's hot guys. It's, it's very hot. <laughs> Hi 
Well, I've always loved um, painted silk. And so I always laugh because I tell people the best day of my life was when my ex-husband met his girlfriend. And so um, I was able to start to follow my dreams. So what I did was I decided I was going to put my whole passion into it. And that's when I started painting silk for good permanently as my full-time job. And I put all of my savings into it and I have actually developed techniques that are unique to me. And so everything I do, I do with a lot of passion and I love what I do. Coconut Grove, Art Festival. I've been coming down to this show, uh, this is my 29 years in the show. I know. I travel, uh, I'm a scout, I mean I find a location for the movie. Uh, I work with uh, like Couching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, like some Jackie Chan movie, Mission Impossible, like Tom Cruise movie. That's what you see most about photo. You've been, I've been around. around. <laughs> so how'd you even start photography? What brought you into that one? My degree is uh, electrical engineer. So uh, nothing related to this one. Uh, I just love art. So I went to NYU to get my MFA, that's a Master of Fine Art. So I decided, I think I can make a living in art, so I've been proving it. I've been proving it. I even do the show in the United Nations. Uh, this is a letter came from the United Nations, year 2002. They're also collecting my artwork and stuff. I, I, yeah, I, I truly believe do what you love, they will come to you. That's what I truly believe. It's not all about the money. Uh, I believe it, uh, you know, uh, do what you love. Let the money chasing you is better than you're going to chase the money. That's what I want. I want the money to chase me. I don't want to chase the money. So Let the money chase you guys. Remember those wise words from Michael here. Thank you. Thank you. Coconut Grove Art Show. This is only my second year doing this this experience. How have you liked it so far? I love it. I mean, how could you not love the arts and not live in this area? You have to come sample everything. Go Blanco, okay. Local Grovite. Lo local Grovite, is that what you guys call yourselves? That's what we are called, yes, I promise. I live in the Grove, so, and I've lived here since 2007, so this is like kind of like our culture. Yeah. It's, it's a whole subculture within Coral Gables. It's not Coral Gables, people like to amalgate it to that, but it's not. Okay, it's different, it's different. It's not Gables, it's Grove. It's, up, it's always up and coming. It's never, it's never up, but it's always up and coming. It's such a wonderful benefit of living in the area because it draws so many people and you, all you have to do is just like walk outside your front door and then you're around all this beautiful art and the weather is the perfect time of year, so it's really nice. They're seeing what we have been in our little hubs making, you know? And then we see the reaction, it's something special. A lot of folks from out of town, they're always swapping stories. They're like, why are you here? I'm here to buy art. Oh, I'm here to enjoy the breeze. I'm here to look at Key Biscayne Marina, X, Y, and Z. It's just a nice swap, little swap shop of stories to be. Well, I think we just swapped our own stories. So thank you very much for that. Thank, thank you. you. That's that guys, this was the Coconut Groves Art Festival. We met people from all around the world, Tennessee, South Carolina, California, almost everywhere. You guys gotta check it out maybe next year, each year, every President's Day weekend.